What's happening, y'all? It's your boy Q Monster here, back at it. With, I'm, I'm back at it again. <laughs> I almost forgot my line. <laughs> one of those days, man. One of those days. But, um, yeah, man, what is happening? We we're about to go ahead and check out some more Marvel news. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, some more Spider Man news. And this is all about Toby. Toby McGuire. You know what I'm saying? The man that started it all with the Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? In the beginning of the MCU. You know, the OG Spider Man. So, let's go ahead. Uh, from the title, it says uh, Toby McGuire to have a significant role in. A role in uh, Avengers Secret Wars reportedly. So let's go ahead and check it out, see what they got going on for this. Let's do it. In regards to the multiverse saga being capped off with Avengers Secret Wars, naturally, Secret Wars is supposed to and more than likely will make Avengers Endgame look like nothing in comparison to how many characters cameos and surprises we're gonna have so let's talk about big recent rumors that toby Maguire's spider-man will have a significant amount of time comparable to spider-man no way home in avengers secret wars Alrighty, let's hear about it so i think it's safe to say that when it comes to spider-man in the mcu things are looking better than ever and now that Tobey Maguire has already returned and he's expressed interest in returning again, and he's put his differences aside with Sony, and he's willing to work with Sony and Marvel Studios and contracts have already been in play and all the heavy lifting and legwork has been done, it's pretty easy to see why Marvel Studios and Sony could be willing to deal with Tobey Maguire and any demand he might have and him being able to listen and come to an agreement to return in another outing, whether that's more Spider-Man films or, as reports have recently suggested multiple times, a pretty big role in Avengers Secret Wars. Now again, Peter Parker, MCU Peter Parker, is more than likely guaranteed for Secret Wars. I mean, you're not going to do another big Avengers team up without a Spider-Man, so it's going to happen. But tossing in another multiverse Spider-Man also makes sense because one, he's already been established in the MCU. Two, retroactively, they've made his trilogy canon. And three, you feel like you need all these Spider-Men because they even teased a return in Spider-Man No Way Home. And when the entire multiverse, including the universe that he exists in, is in peril and in danger, you're gonna bring him back. And again, Secret Wars, either they're gonna go big or they're gonna fail. It's one or, it, like, it's actually, no, it's just go big or fail. There's no cutting costs, there's no cutting measures, there's no scaling back. That's the thing. Secret Wars will be the biggest thing Marvel Studios can ever and will ever produce. So you go all in and I truly do believe that there will be a part of Secret Wars that will be just every Spider-Man we can get ever. And I'm talking ever. I'm talking, you know, 80s live action Spider-Man. What was that? CBS series. You're bringing him in too. That's what I'm talking about. You're going to bring in everybody and they're just going to go all in. And you're going to essentially have a spider battle world, if you will. And you're going to do anything and everything you can. And certainly, we recently even had Alfred Molina say that maybe there is a chance he could come back. Think about that. He already had a redemption arc, so you return him at the end of that redemption arc, and now he's a good guy working with all the Spider-Men, and they're fighting for, well, the safety of the multiverse. That's a pretty compelling and great like story arc to build off of and further develop all these characters and stories. So I'll be honest with you. Every time we hear a Tobey Maguire Secret Wars report or anything, I 100% believe it. Or at least I believe the part that he is returning. Yeah. Well, I said, hey, it would be cool. It would be nice. It would be nice, you know what I'm saying? Tobey Maguire coming back as Spider-Man. And plus, you know, they're trying to go ahead and go all out with Secret Wars and everything. And, I mean... 
I'm still curious about that, you know what I'm saying? After, from what we saw in Phase 4, but see, now we're in Phase 5 now, you know what I'm saying? So, um, man, just like I said, man, I mean, the way, the way how I am with Marvel right now is just, I'm kind of up and down, man. I'm just up and down. I'm really, yeah, I'm just really up and down with them, you know, because especially when we, you know, after, after what we witnessed from, um, from all that disaster, all that trash project we had in phase four, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, it just, like, it just ruined, it just ruined my hopes for, you know, something better in MCU, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. But, you know, and, and the questions that's going through everybody's mind, you know what I'm saying, about the Secret Wars and everything, they try. I mean, we're trying to figure out if it's going to be way more bigger than. I mean, if it, I mean, if it's going, to, if if it's going to like you know overthrow mm -hmm. the Infinity War or Endgame or something like that, because I find it hard to believe. Because like I said, Infinity, and I love, like I said, I love, I love Infinity War and I love Endgame. I love both of those movies in um, Phase Three. And um, and like I said, and what they're trying to build up from now, you know, what I'm saying for this multiverse, you know, with the Secret Wars and everything. I mean, I don't know if it's going to top that, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be a tough shoes to fill, you know what I'm saying? So, but we'll see how it goes with Phase 5 this year, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I hope we don't get no more trashy projects, but I'm pretty sure we probably might will, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Marvel, they want to go ahead and just ruin stuff and downplay these characters like I've always been seeing. So, it's just getting ridiculous. So, I don't know, y'all. I just don't know. You know, as far as with DC go, I don't know. Like I'm with DC, I'm just kind of just like dropping it down slowly. Like I, I just don't know. Like my hype is just flowing down slowly. You know, I mean, I I just don't know. As far as Marvel go, it's kind of up and down. But I I just don't know, man. <laughs> I hope something be good though. But we we shall see. But I highly doubt it. But we shall see. We'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I mean, do you think Secret Wars is going to, you know, uh, overthrow Infinity War? You know what I'm saying? You think Secret, you think Secret War is going to be better than Infinity War or, in, or in Endgame and everything? Because, like I said, I find it way too impossible to be. But, I mean, I, I really want to know what y'all think, man, about that. Do you think Secret War is going to be a whole lot better than Infinity War or Endgame, or you think, or or you think, or do you think uh, Infinity War and Endgame is still going to be on the top? You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what I really want to know. But um, y'all, let me know what y'all think about it, man. <laughs> that's that's tough. You know, that's it's really tough. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. And um, if you enjoy my reaction to this news. Make sure you hit that like button, and always subscribe it and share it. And I'm catch you guys later. Deuces.